Hello there, it's Norm from Tested.com, and I'm joined by our friend Jeremy Williams. How are you doing, Jeremy? Good, thanks. You have another amazing project to show us. Uh, this was hanging up in your wall, and you made this. Yep. What is it? This, I call it a pixel box. I, I call it the grid. OK, I like that. it looks like a grid. No, I actually really like the grid. Um, I was playing a game on the iPad called uh, Midway Arcade. It's a game where they, you know, they give you Defender or something. I forget what it is, but then they microtransaction you for of all of the other games, yeah. right? But it's cool because in the games where in real life you would earn tickets, you can actually trade them in for prizes. And uh, one of the awards in that game was these really cool uh, pixelated, uh, or I guess I should say, like wall-hung animated pixel art, you know, pieces from oh. Joust and Gauntlet. Wow. And, um, a physical thing? Rampage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, in the game, obviously. Okay. Yeah, it, it looked yes. cool. But they had modeled it as if it was like you know, a piece of um, neon art or something. Right. And then they would change to the different sprites. And it would just be like a singular character sprite right. on your wall. From one game. And yeah. I thought that was really cool. And so I looked around. Of course, they don't sell them anywhere. And I thought about making one. But then I thought, well, if you just made the grid of pixels, you could make any sprite you wanted. It wouldn't need to be just Joust or just Frogger. It exactly. could be anything. Yeah. So I thought I started looking into you know, basically um, what it would take to make an RGB pixel grid. Wow. So let's get this rolling so we can show people exactly sure. what's on this and then talk about how you made okay. this and what goes into it. Yeah, so it's a 16 by 16 grid and... Mm -hmm. That's 256 um, 200, pixels. Good math, yeah. It's 256 uh, pixels total. So you can pretty much run most things from the early 80s, right. uh, be, it, be it an arcade True game. True 8-bit art. Or uh, Nintendo. While this is loading up, uh, let's talk about what hardware goes in here. Because it's not like you just went to there a frame goes. store. Oh, there you go. That's an animated Frogger. I know. That's yep. awesome. Wow. And it's really bright. Like, we have lights on right now. It's super bright. And no, the, the, this, there's two layers of vellum, which is that stuff that comes in nice invitations to yep. weddings and things. Yeah. There's two layers of that. Um, and it's it, diffuses. It, just to diffuse it, because these LEDs are blinding. Okay. They're so, so bright. We talk about many components right now. Yeah. There are LEDs behind here. Now, yep. is there actually an LED behind every single pixel? Yeah, there's there's an RGB LED, so, so that's a actually three. So you actually have yeah. you know, 768 total mm -hmm. lights inside there, and the strips themselves kind of look like this. The strips that I ended up using were a little more condensed. So the LEDs here are a little more than an inch apart. You have these white squares you might be able to see, mm -hmm. and on the ones in here they're tighter, so that the entire thing would be a, you know basically a foot by foot. And it's just one strip that goes along. It thinks, yeah, as far as the, the Raspberry right. Pi thinks, this is one long five meter strip right. of, but of lights. But in reality, you cut each yeah. LED module out right. and then solder them together so they could fit. Exactly. These, yeah, these the cool things about these strips you can buy is that you can cut every two LEDs yeah. and it still works. They're um, not cheap. No, they're not. No, but I found a, a, a place in China that you okay. know, sells them cheaper than, way cheaper than anything else I could find. So um, you got to imagine the LEDs. Are, they're protected from each other, so there's no light spill over. Yep. Yeah, there's a grid of walls in there. Um, is that I'm, word again? It's hard. To, <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to take the back off. But it, inside, there's yeah, there's a huge grid of I think an inch uh, thick, mm -hmm. um, very thin Delrin plastic, and it basically keeps the light from bleeding into the other pixels. And then that's all connected at the very end to you said Raspberry Pi, yep. which you have a uh, a wireless Ethernet dongle or Wi-Fi dongle. Wi-Fi dongle. Yep. And, and then, the Raspberry Pi is amazing. Yeah. I mean, the Raspberry Pi is $35 for this model. You, yes. But you can get the cheaper rap. one yes. now for $25. Cheaper, yeah. And the, to get it on Wi Fi is $5 because mm -hmm. this dongle is that cheap. Yep. You talk about getting a, an Arduino on Wi Fi, it's like 100 bucks. So, what can you do? Like, how do you send your, your images over? Like, what is the image? Uh, the image is a, a PNG. It's an animated PNG? Yeah, and that, this is where the magic of software comes in because, again, I, I'm not a programmer, yeah. but thankfully, there are people who have um, you know, taken a close look at these LEDs, and they've written Python scripts that will basically run on a Raspberry Pi, convert a PNG graphic file. And literally, it looks when you look at the PNG, it looks like this image. Yeah, it, it, it's, it, is a, it is a 16 by 16 PNG image. And then it just you know, interprets that, and it knows what your grid is. Because like I say, the Raspberry Pi thinks this is one long string of LEDs. But that Python script knows to break it down into rows. And so you can just pull images of games you own or, exactly. or assets that yep. you created. And then I worked with the programmer to do the animation. So I, uh. he had rigged it up so that you could do still sprites. And I mm -hmm. said, I really would love to do animated of course. sprites. And so he worked with me to get that done. And I sent him a YouTube video of it. And he, was, he thought it was awesome. So now that's out there. Wow. That's amazing. It's, it looks a little fragile. And 
and then you had everything CNC'd, so like this is... Not CNC'd, laser-cut. Laser-cut, laser cut, yep. yes. So it, it was all, you, you did all through Pinoco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Service. You just set designs and right. you know, they, they mailed you back a... Yeah, this, is all, a this is all acrylic. This is an acrylic window on the front. This, actually, the cool thing here is the black lines between yeah. these, these uh, pixels are... That's paper. Yeah. That's a piece of paper that's been laser cut. Right, in the front, yeah. Just to give them some definition. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, and you could theoretically, if you had more time, make this much bigger. Bigger than your 16 by 16. Oh, you mean more pixels? More pixels. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I don't think there's any theoretical limit to the number of... LEDs that you can have. Because your Raspberry Pi is so powerful. It, it's not so much that. It's that the way that these chips work is really cool. They, they take the, the color, okay. and then once they've got the color for the LED, if it gets another color, it just passes it on to the next one. Oh. So it's serial. You just send as many colors as you want. And these smart chips, the dumb chips, they just pass it on if they've already oh. gotten a color. And then they hold the current for that color, and you don't have to do any. The, our, the Raspberry Pi is done at that point. Wow. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's super, super easy. And the only issue it, it, that becomes if you do a lot more is power. Because you have this is running a 10 amp DC adapter, which so is LEDs, quite a lot of power. Br these are really bright That's LEDs. Why, yeah, they're yeah. so bright because they're getting mm -hmm. so much power. This is undoubtedly one of the coolest things we've seen. We've seen something made, someone made. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure people want to know how they can make their own. Mm -hmm. uh, is that something you're thinking about? Uh, In the future sharing designs or possibly making one for sale? It's all out there. The the uh, the Pixel. Um, I'm sorry, the Raspberry Pi software. I believe it's called Pixel Pi. And uh, if you just Google that, you'll find the Python scripts that you mm -hmm. could use in order to do this. The, all I did was make a case for it and cut and soldered up the, the LED strips. All right, very cool. Well, let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see more of this. Jeremy, work on more of this kind of stuff, because I know we would. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Sure. We'll have more, uh, more projects, more cool stuff to show on tested.com. We'll see you guys next time.